Welcome once again to our daily devotion. Today, uh, I was looking at the epistle lesson that's coming up for Sunday that we'll read in both services. It's a letter that Paul writes to the young pastor, Timothy, and giving him just some words of wisdom, but also uh, maybe just a little bit of Paul's history to be able to share how important God has been in his life. I've always really liked this letter because uh, it shows some vulnerability on Paul's side to be able to express to others how good God is. Think about that uh, this week, even before I read this text. How can we use our vulnerability or the ways that we are maybe not so strong or the areas that we have failed, uh, not to be able to point to those things and shame ourselves, but to be able to point to them and show, you know what, God in all his mercy and in all his grace always loves us. It doesn't matter what we're going through or what we're facing. And we need to hear that and people around us need to hear that, just as Paul shares with Timothy today. So let me share these words with you. Again, a piece from our epistle lesson uh, that will be coming up for Sunday from 1 Timothy uh, chapter 1, verse 15. Here is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the worst. It's amazing how much uh, Paul places, again, not upon himself being this horrible sinner, but upon the, the grace of God. That's what he's really wanting us to know. Now, it is the truth. All of us uh, can be able to say this exact same thing that we are a sinner that is in deserving, uh, that is deserving of punishment. We talked a little bit about that on Sunday. However, God is a God that is filled with so much grace that he always is showering down upon us his wonderful love. Paul goes on to share about that in verse 16. So let me share that with you as well. It says, but for that very reason, I was shown mercy so that in me, the worst of sinners, Christ Jesus might display his unlimited patience as an example for those who would believe about him and receive eternal life. You see, Paul uh, says, I am this, this walking piece of evidence for the Lord. If God can change me, if God can forgive me, then he can do that for anyone People in our world need to hear that once again. Uh, they don't need to hear about the things that they've, they've done wrong, why they are not good, why they won't succeed. They need to hear about the ways that we have faced all of those things and that our story very much is the same as their story. The situations may look different, the times, our age, uh, our different demographics, those things all blend together and may be unique to the puzzle. But when it gets down to it, all of us are that worst sinner that are in need of God's grace. And so today, I thank God for being patient with each and every one of us as he spends time being able to give us, again, his love and his mercy and his grace. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I pray that uh, just even one person out there today will be able to receive these uh, words and be able to receive an example from uh, one of our own members or somebody else watching this devotion and be able to see that you are a God of love that has come to this earth specifically for them to be able to give them forgiveness and to be able to give them that great gift of eternal life. In Jesus' name we pray these things. Amen. Blessings to you and uh, come join us on Sunday so we can look at this lesson a little bit more in depth.